Welcome to the workout champ. Today is a full body blast. So get yourself ready because we are going to get drippy. This first movement can be done with either a dumbbell or a kettlebell or what I'm using here which is called a Y bell. It is a hinge and a squat combo. When doing movements like this, be sure that you move at a slow pace so that you can get the form down. We can always ramp up the tempo once you get that foundational form. The key points with this form is making sure that you have a flat back during the hinge. You're going to gaze at the floor as you go down and maintain a neutral spine. On the squat, keep your chest tall and your glutes sitting back. After completing 20 total reps, we're going to move on. Today is really high volume, so hang with me. This is a constant tension step up with a glute kick. Constant tension really just means that that front leg is not going to get to rest during this movement. Make sure that you're moving your back leg by squeezing your glute, not just kicking the air. You want to be sure you're isolating in that back glute. This next movement is a single arm kettlebell or again you could use a dumbbell in this situation swing. The key point here is maintaining that nice flat back. Again we're hinging at the hips. We have a neutral spine by looking at the ground on the way down and really tightening that core as you're coming up to center. We're hitting a nice upper body core movement here with this rocket push up. If you have difficulty completing the push up from your feet, just drop your knees but make sure you are maintaining that plank like position from your knees all the way to your head. You know I love mixing in core in all these moves so this is a reverse lunge crunch. As you're bringing that knee up I want you to think about pulling your belly button in towards your spine and that's what's going to help create that crunch like movement with your knee meeting your elbow. Make sure that that front heel does not leave the ground during this movement. And we are finishing off this circuit with another core involved movement. This is a bench dip. You could use a chair as well with a knee drive. Make sure that the knee drive is happening once you're up in that reverse plank position. Again, tuck that belly button in. Keep your chest nice and tall during this movement. Now this is where you get a 60 second breather and we're hopping right back in. 